Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. The Milken Institute Global Conference is happening now in Los Angeles, California. And standing by at the conference, we've got Yahoo Finance's Editor-in-Chief, Andy Serwer. Andy, the screen, the floor is yours. Take it away. Thanks a lot, Brad. I am here with Barbara Humpton, who is the CEO of Siemens US. Great to see you, Barbara. Andy, great to be with you again. So you're in kind of a singular position in that you are running a subsidiary of a German-based company, and I'm wondering with everything going on in Ukraine and Russia, what is the um, impact, effect, What's going on with Siemens in Germany right now? Yeah, well, Siemens was one of the first, actually, to halt all new business and investments in Russia. And I, we have been strongly opposing the war. But I would share with you that probably the most striking thing has been the impact on us as people. You know, we are very, very close to the conflict. And so to see employees step up and be engaged, helping resettle refugees, raising funds that have donated incredible financial aid into the region, I'm very proud of what we as a corporation are doing. I know you guys are in the quiet period right now, wondering how the business is going, what you're seeing in terms of supply chain, inflation, what's the environment like here for Siemens in the United States? Yeah, well, you know that what everyone is experiencing, we are experiencing too. We're a company that serves in the backbone of the economy. So name the sector we are actually supplying to or customers of that sector. But the great news is that we're providing technology that can actually enable the resilience of the supply chain, whether it's helping the semiconductor industry become more productive, establish operations in the U.S., whether it's making sure we get electrical infrastructure that's standing up data centers. The team here in the U.S. has been rising to the challenge. And specifically about inflation and supply chain, how is that impacting your business here? And what do you take on that? What's your take on that going forward? Yeah, I think, I think all of us are experiencing the changes. We understand the volatility that's in the marketplace right now. It's a moment when our supply chain colleagues have become absolutely essential to the business. And I will tell you that we're seeing really bright moves on the part of leaders in our businesses all across the U.S. What's going on with regard to your business and the $1.2 trillion infrastructure package that was coming out of, has come out of Washington? Well, we were thrilled to see that signed. I was so pleased to be on the law on the day that that bill was signed into law. And what we see is that this is a true investment in the future leadership of the U.S. And, and the growth of our economy for the next decade. So whether it's, I would say the most the most remarkable thing is going beyond just roads and bridges and really understanding that the future is more connected and autonomous. So one of the key things we've featured is the work we'll be doing on electric vehicle infrastructure. Charging stations, is that part of what you're doing? What, that's what specifically exactly right. are you doing? That's it. Well, two things. Okay. One is the charging infrastructure itself. So we make chargers, and we've made the commitment to build a million chargers in the next four years. That means adding manufacturing capacity here in the U.S. That means creating jobs. We've started an apprenticeship program in North Carolina to prepare young people for a career in this space. So proud of all that. But in addition to that, what a lot of people don't think about is what's the technology that gets electricity from the grid out into those charging stations. And so we've got folks in medium and low voltage distribution. In fact, right here in Pomona, California, I'll be visiting with one of our teams this week. We're going to be talking to Mary Barra in just a few minutes. And so I think I'm curious uh, as to how the charging stations work with regard to different manufacturers vehicles everyone will be able to use all the different charging stations <laughs> we have been loud proponents of a non-proprietary open right. standard for charging yeah. and and we've been very clear and open with that so excited to see this being picked up because people want to be able to move from region to region city to city without having to load new apps or install new technology just like gas stations you just go to any one I want to ask you speaking of being here in California yeah high-speed rail and the big project that you're working on here. It seems to be going slowly, probably not your fault, but why is it why are there such delays here and what's the status of that? Well, we know there have long been challenges to high-speed rail. I mean, right, the, the first thing is right away, where are you going to go? The second thing is um, who will uh, sh shoulder the cost of actually building the rail? But we're in there working with the team that's pushing it forward. And Andy, I'm very excited because I believe that in the next couple of years, we're going to be cutting the ribbon on the first high-speed rail here. 
Well, that's great to hear, driving around all the traffic here in Los Angeles. What about decarbonizing the economy? I know that's something you're keen on as well, Barbara. Well, this is part of Siemens' strategy overall. Uh, climate change, urbanization, aging demographics of people everywhere, and globalization. The idea that the supply chain can be more local. Uh, we've been working in all of those things and every single one of them depends on and is, is important to decarbonization. So whether you're talking about new electrical infrastructure, more energy efficient building technologies, upgrading factory operations, we have technology for all of that. And back to rail, this is why rail is so important because decarbonizing the transportation sector is vital to be able to hit our goals. It's important work. Barbara Humpton, CEO of Siemens US, thanks so much for your time. Brad, back to you.